Hello beautiful souls, this is Myra with Happy Soul Happy Life. So I wanted to do another video of, of this animal spirit. And what really um, gave me this inspiration to do this animal spirit was that I went to the river last night and voila, the bed appeared as I was doing my purification, my cleansing, right next to the river. So with the bat, they're very misunderstood creatures. And I think we can relate to them as well in regards to that. Um, because, you know, you can be just like how the bats are. The bats are very close to their family and their youngings. They're very nurturing. Okay. And even though they do not interact with humans, they interact among themselves. As well, you know, they have that unique communication that they have and with that we can definitely relate because sometimes out of our circle we're very shy right we really don't show our true self so when we are home we're you know we're all about that life right you know we try to kid you know we play jokes um we just try to make you know life you know laugh and just joke and sing and you know just be ourselves right so i think that we can relate to them a lot and we can it would be you know as well as many cultures right hispanic culture and i think that the the indian culture can relate to that as well you know also the bat <laughs> is telling us um you know are you a secret keeper right um do you tuck fears under, you know, in a place, in a dark place, right? So the bat is here to help us, you know, to have that courage to face that darkness, okay? It helps us uncover uh, secrets, not just secrets from others, but secrets, even the ones that we hide from ourselves, okay? Um, the bat will also help you, you know, end emotional, burdensome um, fears that have been really weighing you down, okay? And the bat is telling you that it's okay to go into your secret cave, right, periodically. And this is to help you rest up, get rejuvenated, you know, re-energized right so with the bat as well it's also never telling us never judge a book by their cover okay since they were really misunderstood and i think we can relate that you know we should not have that judgment on others as well even though they you know say with different cultures and i think that's probably something that is coming you know, say if we meet uh, somebody that is not in, you know, is the same culture as us, you know, just be very open, you know, be open-minded about this, okay? Somehow I'm connecting the dots after I I tried to do this video about like three, four times. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, the bat um, is also used in shamans because they are the, you know, they're the walk between the two worlds, you know, life and death, okay? The bats also help you with transition as well as past life exploration. I did not know that, so I'm definitely going to use them for sure. Um, the bat is letting you know as well to trust yourself and trust the gifts that the divine source gives you, okay? They are also letting you know that, you know, because they the bats are very high sensitive. So it's asking you to keep all your senses on alert, okay? Remember to gather all the signs and omens that the universe has given you, okay? With the bat, it's, you know, they're here. They're here to make this change you know, as smooth and possible 
and to ease any associated pain that goes with it, okay? So if you guys like to use the bad power, you know, know that they're here to help you to face your darkness, okay? Namaste. Thank you. Bye.